Foxes. This is a banana, a plantain with paichi with fish. Ah. This, yeah. Exactly. What is the lemon do? Just add flavor? Yeah, no. Mm. Oh. Mm. It tastes so much more different than pudding than eating normal pawpaw. Mm. Also, the pawpaw tastes like way different. Rico, no? It tastes so much sweeter. So, so much sweeter and natural. Mm. Would you like to know what it what Yeah, it has? what's this for? Okay. Stuff? They actually mash it together mm. Mm. and they put it uh, some um, coriander leaves. Coriander leaves is to enhance the flavor. It hasn't got any salt because uh, the paiji is being, um, is being like conserved yeah. and uh, you don't need um, more salt because in order to conserve the fish they have to salt. Yeah, it's salted. That's why it's so, salty. Yeah, but it works well with all the other flavors. Mama, the amor was very tasty. The chicken. The chicken. Oh, I swear, I was the scared. I was like so loud. Right now we are walking uh -huh. to the Monkey Island. I'm very excited. We're walking to the boat. Oh we're, yeah. we're walking to the wow. boat to go to the Monkey yeah. Island. Huh? So we're gonna see a lot of monkeys. However, we had to take off like all our jewelry. Oh my god, I still have my necklace. I need to put that in my bag because they're gonna just like take that. Um, and then we are going to go swim. The Amazonian River. It rains every um, day. And so sometimes it floods in the seasons um, and they obviously have to live up to avoid the flood. Yeah, and these things are all for the roofs to put up on the houses. Aren't those the same indigenous communities? Hola. It is, it is. It's a place very flat, mm. but it's difficult to put the leaves here yeah, I mean, for plantation. Ah, uh, so they plant here. Yeah. This is higher, higher ground. Yeah. So there are a lot of um, animals here then. Pigs. Pigs. Plantation, only breeding pig. Animals. Uh, pig, chicken, that, you know. Today we have shown you here the six type of monkeys, the sakis, the bullies, titi monkeys, the howler monkeys. What is the monkey island? The monkey island is the rescue center. It's not the zoo. But there are some monkeys that are in the cage because there are babies, orphans, there are some sick. It's much better to put in the cage right because it's more easy to give the good food, good milk, good medicines, you know. Just a couple hours, like two hours ago, we receive a new monkey now. Oh. Baby, approximately seven months old. But he look good. But the problem have a problem here in the hands. Probably inside have a bullet. A bullet. A bullet. Yeah. Oh my god. The people they use the shotgun to kill a mouse. Oh god. But in Lima, there are one place in the center in the Lima. It's in the black market. How big is just Loreto, for example? Look, one of the bigger departments have Peru. The tourist is controlling the mail in the city and the airports, but who is controlled around to this border? This one. That's the problem. Mm. You know? Yes, for that reason, we decided to make this project. You know, and the, our job we are doing here is to rescue it, to rehabilitate this, and then monkeys back at the forest again. We have a, a special monkey like Peter Mahomes, but they put in cage and bad conditions. You just, they think monkeys eat bananas, you know? <laughs> that's really good for them. You know? That's the big problem. For the reason we decided to make this project. Yeah, in the future, I would like to repopulate and the other areas before monkeys have. But nowadays, no monkeys, no animal in that place. It's like, oh, you, really? have a, it's like you have a big jungles, but it's like a desert. Oh my God. Why? Because people kill, people destroy the habitats. In like for example, I took about 40 years ago, a beautiful place. If you come to Quitos, you know, one of the best places to visit. A lot of fish, a lot, a lot of trees, caiman, birds, huge trees, you know. So, so cute. I like a really good, like a paradise. 
But nowadays, it's like uh, just in the Amazon River, really what to see? Just pass the border, worry. If you visit the market, for example, the ports, how many quantity pass the border for in the water? There is no one here. I have to be Australia. You know, but you know, but we are we are we are in the jungle. We have a jungle. We have natural trees. You know, you come here because you want to see animals. He bought it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, you must have the shirt over it. You must have the shirt over it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just met her today. Oh she's, my god. Yeah, she's very fun. Wow. I'm struggling. The grip is so strong. Yeah, oh, <laughs> right now we are at the um, monkey island. Which one do you what's your your monkey's name? Bancho. <laughs> it fell down. No, 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 no. Please don't. Oh. Oh. He loves the hair. It's too bad. Uh, That's a no, this one's Lucy, I think. She's the one that likes to cut. Rescued, and then oh, when they're like a baby, and they're taken out into the jungle with their older. What up? What's doing? Oh, sorry. Lost. Oh, that would have been so fun. Enjoying the monkey tour so far. So good. It's oh. amazing. Yeah, one of them like tried opening my mouth. He yeah. kissed me and like touched my whole face. They're so affectionate though. Because mm -hmm. oh a lot of them are orphans. Yeah. yeah, a lot of so they were all rescued because um, their mums got killed basically by shooters. Because and then they keep the younger ones as like pets or like human tra uh, human trafficking, <laughs> monkey trafficking. Like they save them. It's really nice conservation area. You can volunteer here for like a week. How much is a week? Like two hundred. Two hundred a week. USD. More than two months, it's, it's like free basically, which is really good. Just like, it would be, be such a good opportunity. Yeah, you just have to speak English fluently and then you're set to go. But I would definitely recommend volunteering. Oh my god, yes. that's so gross! <laughs> Vamos, you missed it. <laughs> it just cleaned its pee pee. <laughs> no, 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 you're yummy boy. You're yummy boy. <laughs> Finish um, going to the Monkey Island. We are now heading to. I have no idea. 
We are saying pink dolphins and currently we say pink dolphins. Yeah, because it's raining terribly right now. It rains like every afternoon in the Amazon. It just depends like how strong. Like there's a few plastic bottles everywhere. Um, not that much, but you see like one off, you know. And there's boats everywhere. That's how everyone gets around in the Amazon, through the Amazon River, or different types of rivers. And they all connect to like Brazil, Colombia. And the Monkey Islands is such a nice experience. Johnny got kissed by like three monkeys. Yeah, so many. Um, getting on the boys. I filmed some really cute footage, but they are amazing. I honestly want to volunteer. Okay, if you want to look it up, it's called um, Las Islas de los Monos. It's called oh. Monkey Island, Las Islas de los Monos. I have dirt everywhere. But they, <laughs> have, they have a website, they're on TripAdvisor. They're on TripAdvisor, they have a website, they have everything. So it's really good. Um, I definitely recommend it because it's a rescue center as well. They rescue all the monkeys. They're orphans, basically. So they require a lot of love and affection. You give them food really good to donate to them as well. I'm really scared because the boat is really rocky right now. I'm getting a bit sick, sick, not gonna lie. Make sure which one you're going to, don't go to a zoo that basically captures them. Do your research. There you go. Peace out. What is this called? Charicuela. Charicuela. You don't eat the, you suck on the seeds. There you go. <laughs> That's what it looks like. And you basically suck off the seed. And it's very sweet fruit. It's got a bit of sourness to it. You know, it tastes like lychee, but like 10 times better. With like sourness to it as well. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's kind of like a lemon, but sweet. Mmm, I like a sweet lemon. Oh, the land under here is sour. So the fruit is sweet. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is very nice. Wow. This is like my new favorite fruit. Okay, so you can only find this fruit in the Amazon. No, I can chill. We're about to leave the lodge right now. Um, it's very rainy. I'm not sure if we'll still see the pink dolphins. But so far, it's been um, such an amazing experience. Um, honestly, seeing the Amazon should definitely be on someone's bucket list for their whole lifetime. It is such a sacred jungle. It is one of the, it is the biggest jungle in the world. There's so much biodiversity in here. Like you come in here and you are surrounded by bugs, all different kinds of bugs you've never seen before. Like amazing butterflies. Um, there's sloths, monkeys, but it is really sad because a lot of that, it is becoming almost dead, the jungle. So when you first arrive in the Amazon, it is really important to be prepared. Don't carry too much in the Amazon, it's a mosquito. Um, you want like a bum bag, you want a bottle of water, do not drink the tap water, a bottle of water is the safest. Usually when it rains in the afternoon then it's just going to rain for the whole day. But when you arrive in a lodge or wherever you're staying, a lodge probably is the best place. You really want a good group of people or just a person to help you who's a local. Like that is the best thing to do because they will, they know the directions, they know how to get to places. You will have to in order to get to places in the Amazon, you have to basically go through a boat um, through different parts of the Amazon River. Try Amazonian food. Amazonian food is one of the most different and sort of vibrant foods I've ever tasted. You have really nice different parts of fish that are soft and they taste very sort of clean. You get what I mean? And you have different, all different types of fruit. You can find them everywhere in the Amazon and you can just eat it fresh like that. Also visiting indigenous communities are really great. They, I think most of their income will run from tourism. So they will sometimes show you like a show um, or a sort of ceremony. Um, they will let you carry animals. I carried a sloth and then they will obviously ask for money or you can purchase some of their gifts. So I got this from the Amazon, from the indigenous tribe, the Narapik. Narapik? 
I think. I'll put the name here. But um, yeah, they're very lovely though. It's really nice to get a good insight into Amazonian communities. Um, and the people are so lovely here. Like they're the most generous, kind-hearted people. And it's amazing to just see people in the Amazon so connected to nature and so connected to their roots and still have that culture. And in a way, that's what all of us should have that aspect still rooted in us. Even if we're, you know, in our everyday life in the metropolis, surrounded by Wi-Fi, surrounded by all these different types of technology which we use to escape nature we we don't live in the now a lot of the times we sort of we're so hypnotized by our phones we're so hypnotized by um technology that we are so lost in that false world we lose we become disconnected in the real world for example usually when people are walking back to home after they finish work sometimes you'll go on your phone while you're walking but you lose sort of that observation and you lose the um, awareness of your surroundings and what is going on and in a way we're sort of blind to um, what we have right now which you know isn't going to be here for a long time um, so visiting the Amazon does give you that really great insight into just how powerful nature can be through its weather through its forces through its ability to create so many amazing organisms and so much biodiversity you can't see anywhere else because in a way this is home to a lot of our ancestors this is home to um, so much so many animals when you're here with no Wi-Fi with little reception it's just amazing just waking up and hearing the sounds of nature is the best thing you could possibly ask for you are in the midst of so much communication by the animals through their ringing through the cricket noises also in the amazon it is really good to always bring a poncho one bring a portable charger because there's going to be very little ports to plug your technology in you're wearing a bum bag so like a bum bag like this is really really good you don't want to bring too much stuff bringing a luggage isn't the best sort of way if you have a, if you're going for a short time a backpack is the best thing but in my bum bag i have sort of like a coin purse my wallet always bring a bit of cash on you especially cash if you're going to um sort of go to markets yeah those are my tips for the amazon hope you guys enjoyed i've got a head now i'm going back to do volunteering work with animals tomorrow we're going back to ikitos Iquitos, um, the city area. It was such amazing time in this lodge. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe for more content. See ya.